Welcome back! My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time! We are still in 1985, and we are still in the Bard's Tale. When we last left off, we more or less completed the sewers. It doesn't feel like I did a good job in there, but uh, we got the information that we needed, we made it through to the bottom, and we're ready to move on. Uh, I did do another run through the sewers off screen. It was enough to get me another level. Uh, I probably need to spend more time level grinding, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, so let's quickly go over stats. As you can see, Thyra is doing very well. 18 strength, 17 dexterity, 17 constitution. Those are the ones that I care about. Uh, no new equipment for Thyra, but we did get a torch along the way. It is night. That's fine. I don't care too much. I'm already maxed out on my spell points. Uh, Torin's also doing pretty well. 16 strength, 15 dexterity, 17 constitution. Hopefully the constitution starts adding up and you start getting many more uh, hit points so I can move you to the front. And we got some uh, torches and lamps. No weapon anymore on Torin. I feel like we're doing pretty well with Torin unarmed. And, you know, as time goes on, that's going to get better. So that's the way that we're going to go with it. Uh, then we have Brindle. Now, Brindle is a little complicated. Brindle's where most of the changes happened. Uh, when I went through my uh, sewer run, Brindle got withered which changed his hit points to old, um, or his AC to old. Something said old. Uh, and I went and got a level up while Brindle was withered. And don't do that. I saved it. They gave him plus one to dexterity. I'm like, that's great. Saved it. And then I realized, wait, Brindle was already maxed out on dexterity. <laughs> so I basically wasted a level up. Uh, didn't get a stat increase. Let's pretend it went to IQ or something like that. That was not as great. So I got a level for Brindle, but I didn't get the stats to show for it. But we leveled him up in a different way. We got him some new equipment. So I now have the Bard Sword. That's the big one. So the Bard Sword is an actual weapon. It's an actual sword. We will be doing damage with it. It's technically a better weapon than the Halberd that Thyra has, uh, but Brindle's not a very good attacker, so we'll only get one attack with it. Uh, but the best part of the Bard Sword is not that a Bard can equip it, it's that it gives you unlimited songs. You can play as many songs as you want if you have the Bard Sword equipped. So we'll be taking advantage of that as we keep going. I also got the Mithril Chain Mail for Brindle. That is an upgrade to, to him. Uh, it's not as good as the plate armor, but, you know, Brindle can equip it, so it's better. So we're down to minus two AC for Brindle, which is nice. I like that. Uh, I do have the Firehorn. I did do a little bit of research on the Firehorn. So the Firehorn is more or less an item. It's it's treated as an item. It's an instrument. As you can see, I, I can equip an instrument and a weapon. Uh, but the way that it works is that I'm going to be able to do 33 to 46 uh, damage to a group anytime I use it. With that said, when it is used, there is a chance that it might break. Um, it's There's a set amount in this version of the game, set amount of uses that uh, the item can be used. I don't know what that number is, uh, but if I use it and it breaks, I'll probably just reload a save. And then I can sell it to Garth buy it back from Garth, it'll cost me some money, but that will re-up all of its charges, and then I can use it again. So, Firehorn going to be pretty useful for me, I hope. That's the idea. That's Brindle, at least. Uh, next up, we have Thalantir, up to level 8, uh, 17 IQ, 18 Dexterity, 12 Constitution. I think we uh, just maxed up Dexterity on Thalantir. Maybe we upped the, the IQ. Either way, those are good. Nothing of super importance there 18 iq 18 dexterity 6 constitution for sparkle shade i just need to level up constitution for sparkle shade we need more hp as you can see hp is vastly different between my uh front row and back row so back row could probably use more constitution they are getting hit every once in a while these days i did get in a fight with uh some magicians and they got hit 
no items to speak of there. And then Panis is up to level 8 as well. Uh, 18 IQ, 18 Dexterity, 12 Constitution. So just need to level up Constitution for you as well. And we do have quite a few uh, spell points. I'll be trying to use those as best as I can, and then nothing of importance there. Okay, so I am right outside Garth's. Uh, I could reset time. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, that's one too far. There we go. And exit the guild and face north. We can play the bard song. Go ahead and play that. And will you let me play it again? Eh, just re-ups. Okay, that's fair enough. Now, we can go all the way north here and kind of back to the central area that we briefly went through before. Um, where is it? There it is. Yeah, I don't... You know what? Fine, I'll take on the gnome. Everybody just attack, and we'll get a chance to see what Brindle can do. Hey, 11 points of damage. That is far better than what you were doing before. Uh, I should actually point out... Oh, and a buckler. Eh, I'll solve that. I should point out that in order to get to level 9, it is going to take quite a bit of work. Let's go to the review board so I can check it. I think... Uh, uh, this one. Uh... Everybody's going to need about 15,000 points to get to the next level. I, I kind of went fast on that one. And then 19,000 for Panis. Yeah, it takes a lot to get to the next level. So that's why I'm like, maybe I don't want to do as much level grinding as I thought. But getting up to the next level, probably going to be useful. All right, so let's go back to the middle. Kind of the middle section of town you can tell because it's big now the middle section here is kind of surrounded on all sides by temples i should point out it's not all sides but they look like temples to me at least on all sides if you're on the north side it's temples if you're on the uh east side these are all temples two thieves we'll fight them why not Okay, Brindle can't kill it. Six points probably not going to do it. Torin's going to do it. And Thyra is going to do it. Only ten points, though. Yeah, if I can't kill him in the first round, I'm not fighting it right now. And if it costs spells, I'm not fighting it. Um, but yes, northern side temples, eastern side temples, uh, southern side temples, eastern side, not temples. They look like temples, but they are not. This is our next dungeon. Let's go ahead and head in. This is the temple of the Mad God. What is thy business, unbeliever? And notice that we can't heal here. So, I mean, technically it is a temple, but this is something different. It's not just a normal heal temple. We need to speak to the priest. Only those who know the name of the Mad One are welcome. What wilt thou say? Now, if you remember, uh, we got that. We didn't get it through kind of more legitimate means, but that Ray has killed, basically killed half my party both times when I went at night. So either something's wrong or I'm, I'm misunderstanding something. The Ray is kind of always there in the sewer. But we went through it one time when we found out the name. It's Tarjan, kind of like Tarzan, but with a J. Tarjan. Speak not the name of the High One so loudly, lest he awaken. And then it went too fast and I didn't get to read it. Alright, so we'll put in the dungeon. Disc and enter. Okay, nothing to do here. Let's go ahead and cast our spells. Uh, we have a few spells that I kind of always want to use now. Uh, we're going to have the magic compass on. So we can see where we are. Uh, we will have you cast Levitate as well. I don't think I necessarily need that here, but, you know, why not? Um, I think that is it for you. And then we want uh, the Mystic Shield on. And we want to use an item... And we'll use that torch. 
Okay, so now we're in the catacombs. I'm going to drop a save here because the catacombs are very scary. Um, bad things will most likely happen here. All right. So the first thing we want to do is head east. There was nothing to the north, so we're going to head east. There's a message here. Around you stretches miles of winding, twisting tunnels. The ancient bones of acolytes jut out of the earth. Those are bones on the side there. <laughs> Fine. Um, yeah, we can just move on. Okay, we're going to go a little bit north here. And then we're going to turn east. And follow this this path kind of around here and then we can find a door and this door has a, a fixed encounter that is uh, one that is recommended so we will try this one before you see nine whites <laughs> we haven't encountered whites before so we're going to um, have you attack have you attack have you use another bard song we have unlimited ones of those so we're gonna use that to our advantage um we're gonna have you cast a spell we'll have you do star flare no right not that's not yours um i forget war strike that's the one that's yours we're gonna have you do dragon breath and then we're going to save Panis a little bit. Save your MP, or sorry, spell points a bit. All right, we'll play a tune. Please don't hit me. Notice that it goes down by two when we have the Mystic Shield activated. All right, we got one white. We got two whites. Notice that Torin and Thyra are doing roughly the same amount of damage. All right, Thalantir... Oh, I wasted the dragon breath. Okay, they're not as bad as I thought. Not nearly as bad as I thought. No, one's still alive. So I didn't waste the dragon breath. I just didn't need to use it. Nine points is enough? Okay. And most of them are gone? Okay, and then Sprawl Crusade goes. So I didn't waste a turn, but... You know, I didn't necessarily need to do like the highest level stuff that I got. All right, we will trap zap that, and that's going to be Panis. That's why I saved your MP. Let's go ahead and open it. We'll have Panis open it because you had plenty of room. 1,500 experience. So, and another fire horn? <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, look at all the bones. Okay, let's exit here. And we will continue east. Uh, all these rooms have other uh, encounters, but they're not fixed, and so it's not necessarily recommended to go that way. Um, we will go... Ooh. Can I run from this one? I can. Okay. I can always tell because it, it takes a little longer to process when I run, and it works. Okay, we'll, we'll continue kind of going east around all these uh, random encounters. And then we'll turn east here, or turn, turn west here, and go past this door with a random encounter and go through this, but we will go through this door with a fixed encounter. Five ghouls. They look the same as whites to me. All right, we'll play another bard song. Um, defend, have you cast dragon breath and then you defend. As long as Sparkle Shade goes first, we should be good here. 10 points isn't going to do it. That's a little scary. 20 points doesn't do it either? Oh, no. I should have done more. Um, 23 did it. All right, 27 did it. And there's three still alive? Okay, there's one that missed. Brindle's playing the song of Don't Hurt Me, Please. Another miss. So there's only two alive. Thyra gets one. And Torin gets the other. Okay, so we still made it through that. Oh, the swordsman! Right, th there's a swordsman. And he, he finished the last one. Okay, trap zap. And we will have you cast that trap zap. 
There we go. And we'll have you open it. 1900. All right, so I need, you know, like 10 of those fights in order to get to the next level for everybody. Yeah. But it's it's not a difficult place to get to. So this is where I'll probably be doing more grinding. Uh, I, I won't lie, by the end of this dungeon, which is uh, three levels, we need to be level 13. <laughs> I'm level eight. Uh, we have to backtrack a bit here. Um, I think I missed where I could go. Yeah, I could go north here. So we'll take this path. Um, and we'll take this north. You have to be a little careful here. Because after this one, there is a trap at the next spot. So let's go ahead and cast a spell. Trap zap. And we should have disarmed the trap here. We did. All right, let's go for another uh, recommended fixed encounter. And that uh, would be all the way north, kind of around this spot north a little bit more. And through here is another recommended encounter. 66 skeletons. 66 skeletons. All right, attack, attack, bard song. <laughs> War strike. And dragon breath. Defend. That should be enough. The fact that they're all in one group really helps. All right, so do you want to hang out here? I don't. Let's speed it up. I won. <laughs> that's all you need to know. I won. I, I turned up the speed. There, that's another reason why I'm using the Apple II. Not only can I do save states, but I can speed it up. And that's how I've been doing a lot of the level grinding. But if you think I'm going to sit there and wait for text for 66 different spells, you're wrong. <laughs> uh, there's no way. There's no way. All right. And we will open that. Number six can open that. For that, we get 1,200 experience. But a lot of gold. Hey, more mithril scale mail. Um, oh, that's that's new. Scale we didn't get before. So we'll have to check that out. I think that's going to be an upgrade for, um, for Brindle. So that works out well. So that is another fixed encounter done. Um, let's try to show off if I can couple messages that we can get so east through here kind of to the end and then north once and then east into kind of this big open central area in the very center of this is a spinner so try to avoid the very center of this just kind of stick to the outside and we'll go all the way east through here then south and then once we get the chance go east again now through here, we should get a message. You have entered the burial preparation chamber. Few but the priests of the mad god have seen this and lived. Okay. Let's head to the northeastern corner here. And I think because I'm levitating, I, I should be fine here. Does levitate? Let me look at the manual again. Levitate goes through traps, right? Levitate. Yep. You float over traps. So I don't even need to use the, the traps app on actual traps. But uh, through here, because I'm levitating, there is a trap that I'm standing on right now. Excuse me. Excuse me? That is, that is not okay. We are, how far back is my save? Ah, <sighs> okay. I I will meet you on the other side of me getting back to where I was. The manual says if I'm levitating, I won't get hit by traps. Apparently, that's wrong. Okay, let's try this again. I'm back to where I was. On the other side of this wall is the trap. So let's go ahead and cast with four. We'll do trap zap. Yeah, trap zap. That that's that's what it does. So now if I step forward, I should not 
get hit by the trap. There we go. And you cannot be standing on it while you do it. And it does seem to be a random trap. I did a little bit of testing. Sometimes it turns into a basilisk trap, which stones somebody, which basically is the same as killing them. Uh, but uh, don't do that. All right. So through here, what do we do all this for? Uh, I should point out that I got something a little bit different this time. I think Spark Shade ho holds it. I got a Lax Liar out of one of the fights. I didn't get the f the Firehorn again. I got a Mandolin. But this Lax Liar, I should point out, uh, it also gives you unlimited Bard songs. Uh, but because we have the Bard Sword, which does the same thing, I don't really care about Lax Liar all that much. Okay, so then through here, we can get another fixed fight. 45 zombies. Let's go ahead and fight them. I've been using a lot of uh, Sparkle Shade for these fights, so we'll have you guys cast uh, War Strike, Defend, cast War Strike. And then we'll attack, and we're not going to go through this. That was a lot. <laughs> and then we will trap sap that with uh, four. Why the levitate doesn't work, I don't know. You can see that it's still active, right? That's what that little magic carpet symbol is. It's levitate. All right, 3,800 experience. That what, that's what I want to see, right? We're going to need a lot of experience to get through that. So that is a good fight for me to go through. Hopefully the trap is still gone. Okay, um, so we went all that way for that fixed fight, but it's a really good one. So I don't mind doing that. These are rather difficult fights, so I'm going to run if I can. Pretty much all the time I'm running when I can. Um, it's just easier to deal with everything that way. Okay, uh, there's a couple more things that I wanted to show off on this first floor. Let's try to circle around to um, kind of the bottom here. We'll go south from here. Continue kind of south and then east through here. And then we can turn east and follow this path around. Um, leave the wandering dog. We don't need the wandering dog. Uh, let's have you join. No, I like the swordsman. I might even heal the swordsman. <laughs> I rarely heal the, the extra party members, but that one I might. Um, up through there is a fixed fight that I don't care about too much. Um, it's these ones where they give me one large group that I can wipe out in a single spell. That's the ones I care about. Okay, uh, circle around here. Uh, that door that we passed was just an empty room. Okay, and then south through here if you go east through this door it's just a room full of darkness and then another door in a fixed fight that is not recommended so we'll go through here oh no it is through there i thought that i could get the message that i was looking for through there okay so we have to go through the the darkness room so we'll do that um north twice then east three times south and then you kind of have to circle around west, south, east, south, west twice. And then there's a door here that leads us to this message. On the wall is etched this rhyme. Fifteen doors east and thou art there. On souls they feast in the dark one's lair. Fifteen doors east... We've been like 15 east of here. So that's another clue. Um, it's, oh, I know what they're talking about. They're talking about something on level two. Uh, we're not going to do that. But that that's a warning. Um, we'll run if they let us. They did not. So you guys kill the spiders. You play the bard song and... My levitate went away as well, didn't it? That's fine. Um, cast War Strike on the Mad Dogs. You cast War Strike on the Mad Dogs, just in case. Just in case.
Yeah, I just don't know if we're going to kill him every time. So when in doubt, go for it twice. Uh, there is a reason that people recommend two conjurers, and the the main one is healing. Uh, I've seen some people say that the, the best party setup is basically already having two conjurers and the bard in the back and then replace it with a magician later. But um, yeah, conjurers are really good. And I think that's the last of them. Oh no, swordsman. Can yeah, swordsman's strong. I'm going to keep the swordsman. <laughs> oh, Thalantir was needed, I guess. Not really. I think Torin still had a turn. All right, uh, so then let's kind of backtrack out of here. Oh, a harp. I will be selling that. <laughs> like Garth came with a harp. Okay, now I know where I am. Circle around. Just this convoluted path. And then twice and out through here. Okay, so let's use another item. I think, nope. You have an item. Let's use a torch. And I'm not even going to bother levitating. If it's not going to get me through the traps the way that I was told, then we're not going to bother with that. Okay, uh, one more message that we want to find, and then we can find our way down. Uh, so let's circle back, down, back to the uh, middle. Um, actually, there's one more fixed encounter I want to find. So... From here, you, you can find several doors. Here's a random encounter. We can go, nope. Unless you are better than a swordsman, you're, you're not getting in. West to here, up to the wall, east until the end here. Yeah, one more. And then you can circle back around to uh, a door that leads to another door. And then through here is a fixed encounter that they recommend, which is 28 zombies. Attack, attack, just in case we'll play the bard song. Um, defend, just go for the dragon breath and defend. And once again, we will speed this up because that, that takes forever. We lost the swordsman, unfortunately, but I am okay with that. Oh, a couple people got hit. Torin and Brindle got hit at some point. I don't remember that happening. That's okay, though. They weren't hit hard. Plus, we're close to done. Um, with at least the first floor here. And we got a significant chunk of experience. And a samurai... what? FGN? Let's pause it for a second here. We'll go into the menu to pause it. Samurai FGN? I don't know what that is. Is it a weapon? Let me, let me just search for it. It'll be faster that way. Uh, oh, it's a samurai figurine. Okay. These are single-use items, and they will summon... Um, I believe they will, they'll summon somebody to join us, and I think this one summons a samurai for us. So samurai figurine. I haven't dealt with figurines too much at all. Let's be honest, at all. Um, okay. So that, that's fine. We'll move on from there. And let me try to get my bearings again. Uh, oh, that's right. We were in the fixed fight. So we want to back out here east. And then we can... Actually, we can kind of continue east here. Can't we? Yeah. And then circle around east avoid this door with a random encounter this was the first fixed fight i think that or not the first fixed fight that was i think the uh, 66 skeletons fight all right back to the central area which is here and instead we're going to go north this time yes and who do we have here eight orcs do i want to fight eight orcs I do. So let's go ahead and attack them. Play the bard song. Cast War Strike. 
Defend, cast, war strike. Because I think I can take them out in one turn here. Yeah, they're not as strong as I remember. <laughs> Orcs, like, I don't know. I feel like the humanoids, they come at different levels because there's sometimes that... I, I know the conjurers do, but I think all of them do because there's definitely some that I take out easier sometimes than I do others. All right, well, we got through it. Wasted a little bit of magic on it. Because Panis didn't need to be used at all. Okay. And we got a Mithril Helm out of that. Very nice. That will be an increase for me. Okay, so uh, I want to go north here, then west, north again, and then east for a while until you can see the cutoff, then go south. That way we can avoid a trap. Well, we're going to have to go through it eventually anyway, but we can avoid it for now. Go until you see kind of this room that's in the middle. This room right here is empty. So we're avoiding that east until the end. North. Yeah, we'll just run from that. No need to, to waste MP on that. Spell points. Uh, yeah, you can join me because I don't have anybody else. A bladesman. Very nice. Uh, we can go east through here. Avoid the door. That's just a, a fight. A random fight. But we can take this down, east, and around to this door. Which leads us to an empty room. Except this is a hidden wall. Which gets us our last message that we wanted to see here. A message on the wall, scrawled in blood, says the ancient witch king yet lives. Okay. Probably not good, but there's nothing we can do about that for now. All right, so let's kind of circle back around and then take this path north all the way to the end. Now you want to take one step forward here. And then we get into a fight with seven ninjas. I'd like to run from that if I can. I can. Let's go ahead and cast Trap Zap here because one step forward is a trap. Was the one we avoided last time but it's the only way to go south through here and this door leads to an empty room but this leads to the way down but as you can see i've used up over half of my spell points so dealing with that right now does not sound super fun so we're not going to go down to the second floor this time we're going to back out and take this path if if you hit me with another trap here let me drop a save don't you dare drop a trap on me here turn i okay i'm like i disarmed you it needs to last through that okay so then we can go south kind of yeah that's that's a dead end south a little bit more then east and south and that leads us back to the center so we want to go west and um how do i want to get back yeah all the way south then east and no actually we'll go west then south all the way to the end and just kind of stay out of the middle if we can and then those will take us kind of to the bottom area where we can exit south, turn west. And yeah, we have to go through the trap, but we disarm. We disarmed that one earlier and apparently they didn't care and it re-upped itself. So we got we all got hit for a little bit of damage because it was a pit. We fell in the pit. Okay. Circle back around and south. And there is the way out. You do not get to join the party because we are leaving. All right, so we'll enter the character disc. And then we officially get out. 
Okay, so we're back into Scarabray. We're on the eastern side, so we need to go kind of east. Follow the path, and now we're back at, I think this is, no. No, he's, you guys really going after me? Run, okay. Yeah, there's the inn, which we no longer need. Uh, we don't need inns anymore because of um, because of the bard sword. But uh, we do have significantly more experience, right? So, and we have the mithril helm. I should look that up. Who can equip the mithril helm, and is it better than the normal helm? I'm sure it is, but who can equip it? All right, mithril helm is two instead of one. So Thyrus does seem like the best person to put that on. There we go. And now you have minus four, and you're honestly in the right spot then. Hooray. Uh, but we can go one more north and go to... Right. There we go. I was already there. The advance, the, the review board. I want to say the advancement board, but that's not it. Close. So we got close. Uh, one single run of that got me somewhere in the range of 12,000 experience. So I will be doing more of that. Uh, I know we didn't have too much trouble there. Uh, things worked out fairly well for us, but I do need more experience in order to go deeper into the dungeon. Uh, so we have dealt with level number one. In order to deal with level number two, I'm going to need probably up to levels nine or ten maybe 11. I don't want to fight, but we, I will deal with that off screen. We will then tackle the second floor. Maybe we might make it all the way through it. We might have trouble, but that's going to do it for this part of the Bard's Tale. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined as always by an ever growing party. This has been Video Games Over Time. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned, and I hope to see you next time. For more Bard's Tale, thanks for watching.